Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my December favorites. I'm going to have makeup, skincare, and more. So I know I haven't done one of these in a few months and it's just because I haven't really been in the makeup mood the past few months. But this month with um, all that's been going on at the studio I work at, I've been getting more and more into makeup <laughs> again and have been trying out new products and I'm quite in love with these products that I've been using pretty much every single day. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of jump right into it. So, the first thing is this white Decapros uh, makeup base. It is a green tone and I got this from my sister Alicia Bond here on YouTube and she sent me this in our last swap and I love this stuff. My skin is naturally red especially in the morning and putting this on under a BB cream really helps hide the redness and it's so nice. I absolutely love it. It's very pigmented so a little bit does go a long way and it just keeps my makeup on all day through work which is hella hard um, because I'm pretty much unloading trucks and stock and all this shit so this stuff has really like helped me um, most of the time I wouldn't like put makeup on for work but lately I've been so getting back into wearing makeup every day because you know it's my job now so I really really love this base and I'll probably have her send me another one or like something when I'm done with this but I've used it pretty much every single day since I got it and I've only used like that much so I mean that's awesome the next thing is my um, Mary Kay Time Wise Luminous Wear Liquid Foundation I wear this on days when um, I have to go to the studio and work and this stuff covers everything. I have mine in Ivory 6 and it is the normal to dry skin and I love this stuff so so much. Um, it doesn't oxidize which is good because it's really light and pale for me. It's a little bit kind of darker than my skin tone but once you blend it out it's pretty good and I usually put a you know a lighter powder on top so it usually works and this doesn't oxidize to like make you look like you just got beat in the face with an orange then I've been loving my NYX um, dark circle concealer and this is in fair <sighs> y'all this has been saving me so much because when I don't have makeup on, I look like a raccoon because the dark circles are just out there. And if you've been watching my vlogmas, you will know that um, the dark circles are there. So it's a salmon flavor, salmon flavored, what? It's a salmon colored concealer and this is for fair skin and I love it. I've been using it nonstop and it's so nice. It goes on really nicely blends like a dream. I love it. Then I've been loving this Tarte um, Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I just have a little sample size, but I've been loving this powder. It has, it, oh my god, it's just like I don't know how to describe it. It's just like this veil of amazingness on my skin. It's very lightweight. It's clear so you know you don't see it. And I am so in love with it. And it's just like a white translucent setting powder. But it makes my skin feel so nice and it's very lightweight and it doesn't feel cakey. So I am in love with this. And probably once I finish this I'm going to get a bigger size. For blush, I've really been loving my Sleek um, Blush by 3 palette. This is in Lace 367. And it has these really pretty peach shades. And the center is a gorgeous dupe for the Orgasm Blush by NARS. 
and I really love this. I've been mixing all three and putting them on my cheeks, which I have on today, and it's like the perfect blush and highlight for my wonderfully pale skin. So I love this so much, and it's super pigmented, so if you put too much, you know, you're going to look low, low, you know. <laughs> so that's always good. Um, and also another Tarte uh, product is the Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Waterproof Bronzer. This is amazing for us pale princesses because it's just the right amount of color and it doesn't have, it's a cool tone so you don't have to worry about the yellowy orange tone and it's just perfect for contour, for everyday contour. If you want something a little bit starker you can build it up but this is just perfection, such perfection. And for a highlight, I've been using the Mary Luminizer in, yeah, the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. I love this. It's definitely worth the hype. I've been addicted to this, and I've barely made a dent, even though I've been wearing it pretty much every day. Then a mascara that I'm obsessed with is the Benefit Roller Lash, and I got this as a sample size for my birthday, um, and I've completely fallen in love, and I'm going to have to get the original, um, not the original, but the bigger size, because it's just so good. Like, I have it on today, and it separates my lashes, it defines my lashes, it gives me volume, it's just amazing, so I highly recommend this. Then for brows, I've been loving the Maybelline Brow Satin. I've been using this pretty much every single day, and I have a review on this if you want to check it out, but it's a little, like, retractable pencil, and then on the bottom it has powder, so you can draw on your eyebrows and set it all in one. Then I have the Absolute New York Nano Liner. I love this stuff. I've been using it every single day. It helps me really well when I want to do the cat eye wing, which I'm wearing today, and it's just amazing. You can do a really thin line, a really thick line, and it helps really well with the wing liner. And a loose eyeshadow I've been using pretty much every day is Kitten Paradise, no, Kitten Parade by Sugar Pill, and it's a gorgeous pinky peach uh, color really gorgeous. I'm so in love with this. It's just like the perfect shade for you know the pale princesses and you can even use it as like a blush as well. I don't know if you can see it but I love this. Then I have three palettes that I've been going back and forth with. The first one is the Sugar, Be Sugar Pill Heartbreaker and I'm wearing all these shades on my eyes today. I've been pretty much just devouring this palette. Then my two Kat Von D palettes I've been going back and forth with. The first one is the Star Studded Eyeshadow Book that I also got from my amazing sister Alicia. And the Kat Von D Vida Loca, Mi Vida Loca Remix palette. I'm loving this. It has so many bright colors. This is amazing. I bought this for myself for my birthday when I had my first paid makeup gig so I was really really excited to get this and I love it so much so yes <laughs> so I have a few games that I have been absolutely addicted to and the first one is Neko Atsume I don't know how well you're gonna see this but basically you make a little safe place for the kitties to hang out and they leave you mementos and you know, you can design it. I don't know. It's kind of addicting. I'm really, like, obsessed with it. I at least play it at least once a day. Probably more than once a day. Um, the next one. The next game is uh, Dream Girlfriend. And I love this game. It's so much fun. You can interact with her. And it's really cute. I just thought it was a really cute game. And I'm kind of addicted to it. And the last one is the Love Live game. I have become Weeboo Trash, of course. I love this 
my little um, honey, honey yo, so cute. My top songs for this month have been Exit's Hot Pink, CL's Hello Bitches, and of course Amber from FX, her entire album. I've been listening to it a lot, so I'm kind of obsessed, yes. And also, I've been super in love with um, Hiroyuki Takashi's work. Um, it's just so bright and vibrant, and I just, oh, I love it so much. So I plan on doing a series the beginning of the year, just doing inspired looks from the art lurk. It's just freaking amazing, blows my mind, and I love it so much. And that is it for my December favorites. I know it was a long one, but I've been loving a lot of things lately. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have December favorites, let me know in the comments below and let me know your favorite things for the month of December. And I will check them out. So yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to all of you very soon. Bye.